The App Store on the new Apple TV is one of the biggest new features, and it allows third-party developers to create their own apps and games. When you first get the Apple TV, the home screen looks relatively empty, and that is because now the apps you're used to all have to be downloaded from the App Store. Besides the normal TV apps like HBO, Hulu, and Netflix, there's now a variety of other lifestyle apps and games. These can be downloaded as you'd like and will be added to the home screen. These apps are very similar to their iOS counterparts, but they have a new interface to match tvOS. Some of the major TV apps like Hulu and Netflix can be integrated into Apple's Universal Search, but for everything else you download, you will have to access them manually. A major addition here is games. This is Apple's first major push into living room gaming. Right now, there's only a few popular titles out, like Asphalt, Crossy Road, and Alto's Adventure, but those titles will grow over time. These can all be played with the included Siri remote, but you can also attach an MFI certified gamepad and play with these games as well. The games run well and look great on the big screen, and this gives you the opportunity to play multiplayer iOS games with multiple people. Another great app is the QVC app, and this lets you watch segments live and buy what you're seeing right within the app. It's very quick and easy. While using the apps, you can quickly switch between them by double-clicking the home button, and you can customize the home screen by clicking and holding on the touchpad. If you want to delete an app that you downloaded, you just click and hold on the touchpad, and then press the play pause button when prompted. Apps on the Apple TV have been wanted for quite a long time, and now that they're here, there's a lot of potential for where the apps can go. It's early days right now, but it'll only grow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and visit MacRumors.com for more Apple TV coverage. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and we'll see you in the next one.